I knew as soon as the temperatures dropped that it was the perfect time to try my newest additions from First Aid Beauty. Their First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser and their First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration. Because taking care of your skin in winter works best if you have a gentle non-stripping cleanser and a rich moisturizer with additional soothing ingredients like the colloidal oatmeal the Ultra Repair Cream comes with. But did they live up to my expectations? If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dr. Anne, a physician passionate about skincare and well aging. A fragrance free, gentle cleanser that is safe for sensitive skin and effectively removes makeup, dirt, and impurities, leaving skin soft and subtle. This fast absorbing, rich hydrating moisturizer provides instant and long term relief for dry, distressed skin, even eczema. Good for face and body. The interesting thing here is that they mention eczema and are basically making a drug claim, something you shouldn't do in cosmetics. But when you do turn the tube around, you will see they have the drug fact section on top with colloidal oatmeal mentioned as active ingredient. And that is indeed FDA approved as over-the-counter drug since 2003, which, to my understanding, makes this cream an over-the-counter drug rather than only a cosmetic. The most interesting thing about the Pure Skin Face Cleanser is the texture and color. It is pearly white and looks like whipped cream when it comes out of the tube. Really beautiful. There is no perfume, so you only get a faint scent of cream when applying it. The same is true scent-wise for the cream, but this one has no pearl or interesting texture, it just looks and feels like a plain, regular, rich cream. First Aid Beauty tells you to massage the cleanser into damp skin, so you can do either that or mix a little water in your hand to froth it up before you apply to your face. The whipped mousse turns into a light foam that is non-stripping and able to get rid of makeup okayish, but for me it stings my eyes quite badly. My skin felt clean and calm after using it, even after a day spent out in the cold, so I can imagine it being great for those with irritated skin looking for a gentle cleanse. Now for the cream. Just to be clear, I do not suffer from eczema and haven't had a flare-up of atopic dermatitis in a very long time, so I can't tell you if in these conditions this cream will work. I am, however, prone to flakiness around the mouth when cold weather mixes with my tretinoin routine, yet at the same time don't tolerate many rich creams without clogged pores. I use the Ultra Repair Cream at night, as it is too much for my skin during the day, and while the flakiness didn't completely disappear, it was much better than it used to be. The cream spreads easily, sinks in fairly quick, but can be filled on the skin in a good way for several hours, like a soft, protective layer. While I am pretty sure it will be too much for me during the warmer months, it is beautiful now that it is cold. In the cleanser, there is glycerin as humectant, a few emollients, and a list of several cleansing agents perceived as especially gentle. There is also green tea extract as antioxidant, allantoin, and aloe barbadensis leaf juice for soothing, and then licorice root extract, as well as ascorbyl palmitate, a vitamin C derivative, which could be skin brightening. I don't think the effect will be strong in a wash-off product, but didn't want to leave it unmentioned. In the cream, other than the 0.5% colloidal oatmeal we mentioned earlier, there is also allantoin for soothing, glycerin as humectant, and then a whole bunch of lipids like squalane and ceramide 3, as well as shea butter, dimethicone, and other emollients to smooth out the skin. You will find green tea extract for our antioxidant as well as licorice root extract which has anti-inflammatory and skin brightening properties. What surprised me was the eucalyptus essential oil. While it is not a commonly known trigger for sensitivities, I would have preferred a formula without it in a product aimed at eczema-prone skin. While both are great for the winter, I will not repurchase the cleanser, simply because it stinged my eyes. I need something to get every bit of makeup off my face and don't have the patience to use a separate eye makeup remover. If that isn't an issue for you, or your skin is very dry though, this is a great choice of cleanser for you. The cream is amazing for irritated and dry skin, especially when it's cold outside, and did work for my combination skin without clogging my pores, so I can see myself repurchasing it next winter. Especially when we go skiing and I spend the day outside in the snow, I can imagine it being very helpful in protecting my face. If your skin leans more on the oily side though, it is probably too heavy for you to use. If there's anything you would like to add, please do so in the comments below. I will link to more videos you might find interesting on the screen, and add links to my Instagram blog and Patreon account in the description box. See you soon. Bye.